where both sides are reasonably happy here and might prefer to stay here. But as the Danish manager said, I'm not sure whether I can trust some of my players. They might contrive the result. And here comes a chance for Sieverbeck. Manchester United's John Sieverbeck roaring through from the back and on the target just deflected by Furster. Great run by Sieverbeck. The Danes take a lot of short corners, they've taken one here, and they haven't got too many players forward into the penalty area. Now they're getting more up. Now drop looking for Elkia, who stumbled and appealed towards the referee. Now here's the, perhaps a chance for the Germans to break. A lot of players free on the other side. And Rolf got forward and then stumbled on it, unfortunately. Soren Lerby, Laudrup, Anderson forsaking his marking role for the moment. Soren Lerby, oh, great shot and a good save, but it was just as well. First, it was there to pick up. Three minutes to go before the break. Here comes Anderson and Jesper Olsen. Anderson going again, not a bad ball. Berthold is with him. Anderson still has it. Anderson couldn't get there before Bremer, but it's still Denmark in the closing minutes of this half. Soren Lerby, Anderson. Jasper Olsen out here, it wasn't a good ball, and Mateus can break. Mateus with Voller and Alos up front with him. There's Rudy Voller. Can he get a shot in? It's a poor one. Great interception, and Mateus was saying that Voller should have chipped it over the few Danish defenders and found Klaus Alofs, but he took a very hopeful and in the end poor shot. The Danes then, with a little bit more freedom in midfield, a little bit more control in the closing minutes of this half. Olsen, Olsen still coming. Orton Olsen driving into the air, he goes down! The Danish captain's run from the back has earned them a penalty two minutes before the half-time break. 36-year-old legs, but he kept going pretty powerfully there. And the Belgian referee had no hesitancy in popping it onto the spot. And it looks as if it's going to be Jasper Olsen with the kick against Schumacher. Here's Olsen. So smooth. Manchester United. Jasper Olsen sends the Danish fans into ecstasy with a cool penalty just before the half-time break. So, the Germans had controlled perhaps the later stages of this half, faded a bit towards the end of this period, then a bursting run from Morton Olsen is put into the back of the net from the penalty spot by the other Olsen. Here's Mateus. Free kick then with less than a minute officially on the clock. Alos is just for the side of Mateus. Berthold couldn't possibly get there, nor could they there, and it's another break. And it's a tremendous looking run by Laudrup. Good pass to Soren Lerby. Lerby can get in there. Laudrup gets into the middle too. 
and it's put back to Olsen and the danger is over and a number of Danish players are cursing Soren Lerby. As Soren Lerby gets forward for that long ball, Soren Lerby and Jakobs. And Dietmar Jakobs does well. prize at stake here is staying here and playing Spain or if you finish second going to Monterey and playing uh, Morocco one wonders which is the more valuable or the least valuable of those two but at the moment the Danes are clearly in the lead at the top of the table as Bremer breaks forward with Arneson chasing him good left foot cross cut out well by Sieberbeck and the danger is over Morten Olsen wants to burst forward again Plenty of life in those legs of his, and Laudrup is getting forward, and he's badly fouled there. And I would have thought that there's a yellow card for Edair, and it's going to be. That was a terrific run by Morton Olsen. Laudrup has electric pace. He was away, and Edair pulls him down. So, a yellow card. For Norbert Eder. Jan Moldy. Into the hole looking for Ericsson. But he wasn't able to get hold of it. That's another free kick. went in fast and hard by Jakobs. Good return to Lerby from Olsen. Schumacher, the right-hander. Here's Anderson. Morton Olsen. Oh, nicely done. Picks it up from Laudrup. Morton Olsen going again. He's in trouble here, though, and still keeps it. Superb play by the Danish captain. A chip forward. He looked as if he were chopped down, but that was wonderful stuff by Morton Olsen. Klaus Alox. Litbarski is playing down the left-hand side. Leaves space here for Bremer. Litbarski's gone into the middle. Forward for Litbarski here. And a good cutout by Anderson. His answer. Looking again for Ericsson, but couldn't find him. And in fact, it's uh, Ericsson bringing uh, Adair down. Free kick to West Germany. Mateus to Berthold. Ford to Herget. Frank Arneson. Taking the return from Ericsson. Arneson's away. Laudrup's in the middle. Arneson brought down. It was another bad challenge and another yellow card. Dietmar Jakobs. Nasty challenge on Frank Arneson, the player who suffered a lot of serious knee injuries.
Schumacher organising the wall in front of him. Arneson has recovered. Laudrup tricks it forward. And Ericsson was very close to getting hold of that. Lovely little flick from Michael Laudrup. Well, there's plenty of sparkle in this game. One or two of the tackles in the second half, though, haven't been too friendly. Germans who haven't played the Danes for 15 years, wouldn't give them a game for so long, won't take a defeat here lightly. It's Bertol pushing forward. Getting the return? No, nope. couldn't quite pick it up from Rudy Vollen. Play on. The sun goes in, but there's still plenty of sunshine in the Danes' play as Anderson scooted down the left-hand side. Ericsson, the front man now, coming off his man, trying to leave a hole behind him. Here's Laudrup. Jan Mulby. Well, that's not a particularly good one to see the back. It did well to get in there. And here's Bremer. Good control in the circumstances. Keeps cool. Ford goes out there. Berthold is racing away on the right-hand side. Berthold hasn't been picked up. Over goes Anderson. And it's closed down well. Berthold they had a couple of good shots in the first half. Forward for Lit Basket. And there's Lars Hirt enjoying his taste of first team football here. Third choice goalkeeper who was only added to the squad coming out here at the very last minute. They were going to bring only two goalkeepers, but he's made it and might well end up in the first team. Here's Soren Levy. Ericsson again coming off his man, leaving Olsen up there. Here goes Soren Levy on a run. Support from Jan Molby to Laudrup. Jakobs gets in there hard. And Denmark have it again. Here's Anderson. Soren Lerby. Jan Molby, he can hit them. But Schumacher moving across quite comfortably together. Olsen. Oh, what balance. Cool as a cucumber. Such a pity he's going to retire after these World Cup finals. There's not many players like him around. Anderson and Soren Lerby. Ericsson's moving around well up front, trying to drag the defender away. Here's Ericsson. Forward goes Soren Lerby. It wasn't a good pass to him. And Olsen battling to get this. He does well. Olsen almost doing something spectacular, but it's picked up by Jakobs, and away come Germany, but they get a throw. Or was that a handball? right Bola trying to make a run forward up front over there is Herget Anderson goes over to cover Mateos helping him here Jasper Olsen takes it away but then loses it to Berthold making a positive run forward Berthold still with it Litbarski getting up does well Litbarski from an impossible angle almost rolled one into the net goalkeeper was struggling here the first time hers made a mistake but it's a let off
Uderbeck mucking the round at the back here for a moment, giving themselves a bit of a breather. Horton Olsen again. Frank Arneson. And Mulby. That's a better ball to Ericsson. Ericsson might turn on it. That was a little bit unlucky. Good, good ball forward, though, from Jan Mulby. Now Jock picks it up, but the whistle's gone. Laudrup having a comparatively quiet game, which is sensible, really. There's a long way to go yet in these World Cup finals for players like Michael Laudrup. Klaus Alofs. Here get getting forward, too. Bremer here. Still, Alofs is forward. It's a good ball for him. Alofs, a shot. Nicely played by the Germans. Good handling again by Lars Hör. It's pleasing to see the game is fairly wide open. And I wonder what's going through the mind now of the Danish manager coach, Sepp Piontek, a German who's so delighted that the Danes gave him the opportunity to coach a national side. We're not happy about the way he was treated in Germany. This side leading West Germany by one goal to nil. Morten Olsen to Jan Moldy. Lerby with a lot of room in front of him. Will he go and hit one with his left foot? And he slips as he tried to get by, hit by Jakobs. And perhaps Litvarski can break here. Overlapping from Faust Alofs. Ford for Bonner. And Lars Hurst spotted that one very quickly. But it's inconceivable we're not going to get more goals in this game. If they're playing for a contrived result, they're certainly disguising their skills pretty well. But it's pretty certain that the Danes want to win this one. But they're not going to uh, kick anybody in the process of doing it. Although they can see the free kick there. Quickly taken to Litvarski. Good run by Pierre Litvarski. Beaten away though by Sieverbeck. Here's Jesper Olsen, Frank Arneson, Laudrup and Eriksson in the middle. If he can attack Bremer. Away goes Arneson. Good run. Well, really exciting stuff there. As soon as Arneson can run at a player, get him to stand still or almost to backtrack slowly, then there's terrific danger. Heget to Litvarski. Lots and lots of room now in midfield. Klaus Alaps on his left is Bremer. Room now for Heget. Oh, a lot of room now for Mateus. Mateus denied by brilliant goalkeeping by Lars Hur. Mateus should have had that. Now the Danes can get one on the rebound. And brilliant interception. Look at the space in midfield. It's totally controlled by the Germans at the moment. They're not bothering to come back too fast, the Danes. Litvaski now chipping one in. But it looks as if Furster is hurt here. He made a very good interception and now appears to have uh, pulled a groin muscle, which is very bad news because he's a most impressive defender. What's he going to do? Surely he's going to come off. Well, attention to Furster, and it's probably just as well we don't see the pictures. The family show after all. He's off the field of play, 
the referee has noticed. So we can begin, as they say. Now, Soren Lerby. With so much space around in midfield, surely there's going to be more goals here. Here comes Jan Molby. On the right is Frank Arneson, and they're wide open, with Eriksson getting in the middle. John Eriksson, the second for Denmark. Well, Arneson did the spade work. Eriksson, the substitute, pokes it in. But such wide open spaces for the Danes to exploit. Of course, the Germans were down to 10 men at this stage. There's no firster, but there's no cover either. So John Eriksson, the leading scorer for Feyenoord, puts Denmark 2-0 into the lead. John Mulby changing it well to Anderson support from Anderson here Anderson dashing forward Anderson might go for one himself looking for the quick return from Ericsson Ericsson shoots just wide he's enjoying this taste of first team football the Feyenoord leading scorer that wasn't so far past the post here comes Berthold now for Germany. Klaus Hallos to Litvarski. Litvarski in danger position here. And off balance. Good clearance in the end by Soren Lerby. He's looked tired, but he's covered lots and lots of ground. Adair has crept up over the far side. It's a good drive, it hit Rummenigge, it might well have been on the way from Mateus. The last five minutes then, of a rare encounter between the Danes and the Germans. First one for 15 years, and it looks like a tasty victory for the Danes. And away goes Simonson, he's onside. Simonson has numbers of support, he's got Ericsson over the far side. He was not good enough for. Well, the Germans were really caught out there. Franz Beckenbauer not at all happy with all that. And a corner for the Danes, going to be taken by Simonson. Lerby's coming over for what might be the short one. They're very keen on the short corner. Lerby. Forward goes Frank Arneson, just not able to get that. Adair. Rumenegger. Litvarski, nice little dodge, good shot. Well, oh, that was cleverly done by Pierre Litvarski. Perfect control, dodging away from the tackle, and a pretty good shot. over. 
Bremer is free on the left hand side, so too is Hackett. Ball goes Bremer, can he give it in? He can. Over the lines and Slag's gone up, which is surprising to me, and I think to Andreas Bremer. But the referee nobly supports his colleague. Bremer continues discussions with the referee about that incident. We've got to take it again in. got six minutes or so left they're all fairly tired out there Munich have probably got more energy than most but can't get the ball in the right situation but here's Klaus Ellis trying to put it forward into space for Pierre Litbarski picked up by Berthold good run by Berthold brought down Anderson kicks it away rather unwisely Thomas Berthold might be on the move at the end of these finals only 21 years of age very impressive international for Germany he gets himself now into the penalty area Rummenig is in there so too is Dittmar Jakobs the sweeper and be picked up by Lidbarski Jakobs. Jakobs is through. Rummenigge might be there. Good shot, well blocked by Soren Lerby of all people. Who's been in midfield, racing forward into striking positions and covering at the back. This will certainly be a tasty result for Sepp Piontek, the Danish manager, German born, but he didn't get much of a chance in Denmark as Sorensen keeps, uh, Simonson goes forward for another. Oh, and intercepted by Bremer. Now break for the Germans. Alofs, Rummenigge is out there. Comfortably put away by Morten Olsen. Well, it's all spectacular stuff here. It's wide open but it's great entertainment. Mateus. Can't get by Soren Lerby. Down he goes spectacularly. Gets nothing. The Danes break. Laudrup and Arneson. It's five against four at the moment. But the Germans are coming back. Arneson to Laudrup. Wide to Simonson. Sieverbeck's overlapping him. The numbers have evened out now. Jan Mulvey needs perhaps a bit of help. He gets it from Alan Simonson. Simonson getting in there, he's away. Past Rummenigge. Laudrup just ahead of him. Arneson. Ericsson, Anderson here, Ericsson must have a go here, no, and the boot of Berthold puts it away, great possession play by the Danes though, but the Germans coming back, can they produce a reply from this, Rummenigge, Mateus, put away by Sieberbeck, Taken to Herget. Rudivola. Bother doing his best. Does well, in fact, to get a shot in, but now didn't bother her too much. Nobody bothering to chase this in the red and white. 
the dynamite of Denmark. Well, the Bishop Milaga drunk tonight around here. There's a tremendous support from the Danes in their very colourful garb. The Germans haven't given up yet, but they must know there's no chance. With two or three minutes to go. Nedbarski back to Bremer. Edel. Forward to Rummenigger. Rummenigger, great turn. And another good save by Lars Hur. Rummenigger in character there. But the goalkeeper did a superb job again to come out and close it all down so fast. problems here certainly dramas on the ground now there's going to be trouble for Arneson because he's already had one yellow card if he gets another yellow card he's gone and I'm afraid he is how absolutely unnecessary apologies to Mateus Totally unnecessary. Mateus and Arneson flash. There's a bit of stupidity there, but Mateus makes rather more of it than he should have done. And tragically, Frank Arneson has gone. Well, this was going to be a piece of cake for the Danes. And now they've suddenly lost one of their best players. It's all gone wrong, and he's banging his head in frustration and anger. What an ass he was. Well, that changes the whole atmosphere here among the Danes and their players. A comfortable win. Prestigious couple of goals against the Germans, but they've lost Frank Arneson. And that must mean he's going to miss the next two games. Here's Alos. And there's the final whistle.